My name is Laura Spaulding with Spaulding Decon, and today I want to talk to you about a question that we get a lot about our meth lab properties. Uh, many, many people call us and ask us to decontaminate a property or, or even test a property that they have already painted over. Uh, we refer to this as encapsulation, and this is the worst thing that you can do in, in a former meth lab or in a home that you suspect that was a meth lab. Um, encapsulation just really seals in the contamination into the drywall and it makes it impossible for us to decontaminate it. So um, whenever you're dealing with a home or a rental home or a, any type of property that you want to buy and they have told you that it was a meth lab property, but don't worry because we've painted it, um, that is not sufficient. Those uh, gases will, will off gas, what we refer and it's still a toxic environment. Um, when we go to test these properties, the, the results are often very skewed because the paint has painted over most of the contamination despite the fact that it's off-gassing in certain areas. So the proper treatment for something like that would be honestly just to rip out the entire, uh, the entire area of drywall or room of drywall. Uh, don't let another contractor tell you that they can decontaminate it after it's been encapsulated. Uh, that's absolutely not true, and in most states, that's not even allowed. Um, another big misconception that we see is the HVAC unit. If your HVAC unit tests positive in the preliminary assessment, uh, we always remove uh, the air handler and the ductwork. Uh, most of the houses here in, in the south are, are flex duct, and the, it is impossible to decontaminate flex duct. And why would you? It's not very expensive, and why would you take the chance uh, on risk your health or your family's health? So we always remove those materials. I know that there are contractors that tell you that uh, they can decontaminate that. Uh, that is just absolutely not true. There's no way that you can adequately test hundreds of feet of ductwork and inside of an air handler uh, to, to say that it's been decontaminated. So uh, for the sake of your health and your family's health, we always recommend that you remove and replace uh, all HVAC and uh, ductwork. Thank you.